Hello, I'm Samantha Tidy. You might know me as a children's book author, but I also write adult fiction and The Happiness Jar is my second literary novel and I hope you like it. In The Happiness Jar, Rachel Hudson asks her mother Beth and her brother Matt to each take half of her ashes to two different exotic destinations. It's her way of giving back to them a part of themselves that they put on hold whilst looking after her with a chronic illness. To me, the novel is about faith and love. Faith I find really fascinating. I think it's a really individual expression. It's a personal choice and we determine it for ourselves and it helps us get through this wonderful thing called life. So to you, I might have too little faith and to me, you might have too much faith. And so the novel explores that, it explores different faiths and when religion can kind of get out of hand, but it also is about having faith in yourself. And in that way, it's also about love. It's about self-love as well as a little bit of romance. The novel is set in a few different places, but one of them is Broome in the Kimberley in the top of Western Australia. I really love Broome. I used to live there. And so in writing about it, I got to use some of my own experiences uh, for the characters in the story. It's also the reason we chose this beautiful artwork by Jessica Moore, a West Australian artist, for the cover, because it really captured that deep red of the Pindan and the turquoise blue of the water. Another place that the novel is set is in India, in Varanasi. And so between these two landscapes, one of the things that runs through the novel is this visceral heat. Um, so I really enjoyed painting those landscapes with words and, and bring that warmth into the story. Well, depending on your faith, we only get one life. So the message of the story is really to embrace your life and make sure you're doing what it is that you want to do. That's what Rachel did. She knew she had a short life and so she kept the happiness jar and she wrote down her favourite memories and moments and kept it in the jar and opened it up whenever she needed to. So perhaps it will inspire you to start your own happiness jar.